the purpose of this video is to help you uh, use MD solids to analyze determinant beams. So remember, we want to customize, check preferred SI, open up the determinant beams module, and let's select a simple beam. So let's define, let's let the total beam length be 4 meters. Select meters. Location of the left support, 0. Location of the right support, and say 3 meters. Click on Enter. And now we have the diagram of the beam that we just defined. So let's add a point load. Let's let it uh, be at 2 meters. And let's say it's a load of 6 kilonewtons. And we see 2 meters, we have a load of 6 kilonewtons. And we see the shear and moment diagrams for that load. Now let's add a distributed load. Let's say it starts at two and a half meters and it ends at four. And let's say it's a two kilonewtons per meter distributed load. Enter that. Now we see we have the point load of P1 at two meters, the distributed load, and we see the shear diagram and the moment diagram corresponding to those lo that load. Now let's add a, a, a moment at the end. Let's say it's at the left end and it's two kilonewton meters. And we see now here's the load configuration. Here's the resulting shear diagram and the uh, consequent moment diagram. And now we've done an analysis uh, of a reasonably complex load on a simple beam. Now let's say we want to remove the load. We can do it this way. Undo the load. Or let's redo the load. We could go to edit and we can delete this load. If we want to delete the distributed load. We can do that. Or we can edit. Go back and re-enter the distributed load, or we can go back, enter the point load, and we can enter the distributed load. So there's lots of opportunities to go back and do what if uh, and analyze uh, simple beams uh, very quickly and very easily using MD solids.